BBA is right now in voice command mode. Welcome back to my random junk. I got this BB-8 Hero Droid for 50 bucks on November 1st, 2018, because Target had a preview sale for Black Friday. Um, for those who are interested in buying this item, Target will again have this item on Black Friday for $50. It is in your advertisement. Here is a photo to prove I'm not just making it up. All right. Now that being said, does anyone remember this? That was a Target exclusive, but somehow Walmart seemed to get after. Um, not much of an exclusive, it was more like a, uh, I guess it wasn't an exclusive because Target probably had it for a good year before Walmart uh, got it. But, yeah, it was like 75 bucks when this came out. I think this was like $150, $200 when this came out. Target now sells this currently for a hundred bucks, and you could probably get this meter and clear for 35, 50 bucks. And look at the difference. This does a lot more than this, uh, size-wise. You know, you make your choice. But I thought this was awesome when I got this. But now this just kind of seems pathetic and a waste of money when you compare it to this. Oh, actually, here we go. So here we go. So if you want to know how big this is in person, just go to Target, check out the box. It's like it says on the box, actual size. It pretty much is. So it this is pretty cool, you know. Um, so I want to point out a couple of issues I had before talking about some of the cool stuff about it. One is it comes with these stickers and so there was a sticker here and a sticker here, and it said blah 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 blah. Well, when you try to peel it off, it, it it's not easy to peel off. It actually kind of leaves some of this sticker stuff, like sticker particles or whatever you call it. I don't know. It doesn't tear up. It's not a clean rip. It leaves parts of the sticker on there, and I find that to be kind of irritating. So that was kind of a horrible job with your sticker inventory there, I guess, Spin Master. Um, the other problem was is that I struggled for quite a bit to try to open up this right here. I actually had to take a small screwdriver, pop it in and carefully pop it out because I was afraid I was going to break it if I put too much force on it. So um, now since I've done that, I can easily remove it. It was just jammed in there. So it could have been just mine, but heads up just in case. Uh, they do recommend you charging this to completion and it is well instructed in the instructions. Anyway, it takes me a couple hours to do, so just be patient. Um, I'm assuming that's probably for the, to create the best battery life inside of this, because it does have rechargeable battery in this and this. So there are two chargers. This charger is for the body, and then this charger is for the head. So the charger for the head is right toward the back of the head. It just looks as a little bump. And there you go. Inside of here there are three channels. So you have channels A, B, and C, which correlate on the remote control. So you can have three different uh, BB-8s or I'm assuming things that use the same frequency to change so you don't screw, you know, screw it all up. You know, screw up other RCs you're running at the same time. Uh, and it's got the charger port and a button to turn it on. Down here, you have the button to turn it on and the charger. So currently this is on, the red light means on. And let's turn on BB-8 head, which I feel dirty. Okay. Now after user error, uh, let's snap on bb 8 head. Okay. So BB-8 will run on its own without me doing anything. So before we somehow BB-8 decides to jump off this table onto the floor, I figure the easiest thing to do is to let's just remove this table, get down dirty on the floor. And BB-8 has lost his head over the idea. Okay? 
Alright, now that we're on the floor, let's kind of test out some of BB-8's functions. Uh, BB-8 can do several things. There is remote control mode, uh, which I suck at, and there is voice mode, and there's follow me mode, which is one of my favorite features. Well, voice command is my favorite. The follow me mode I love because it's you just put this on and BB-8 senses the remote and sends to follow the path of the remote. Um, and there's also a mode where BB-8 kind of just kind of do what BB-8 wants to do. But that option is done on a remote. But everything is instructed in here. So anything you want to do, this is this is where you want to look. So it comes with an instruction guide and then the quick start guide. So they both give really good details, which you can't see from here. Uh, so I apologize for that. On how to use it. Basically, it doesn't just tell you boom, boom, boom. It should actually shows you some nice photos. And it's meant for kids, so it's instructed for kids. And as an adult, I'm thankful for it still because it just makes it easier, you know. All right, so let's start BB it up. So BB-8 currently is in voice command mode. So all the voice commands are listed right here. Yeah, we got BB-8. Have you seen Ray? Yeah. Yeah. Stay in guard. Stormtroopers? Stormtroopers. Are you looking for stormtroopers? Kylo Ren. BB-8. Kylo Ren. Yeah. BB-8. I don't think I have to say his name every time, I just tend to. Joy, please! Sorry. How are you? That's good. So come here. Sorry. Closer. BB-8. Closer. Closer. BB-8. Closer. Closer. Closer! You deaf? Closer! Uh, I'm not saying anything different. Oh, wait, maybe my bad. Come here. Come here. It was me. What's up? So, alright, so anyway, so there's some other commands, but... So let's try out the uh, driving function. So you have this tilts left and right, and then this actually moves the ball forward and back. So you kind of have to, it's just like a trying to figure out like a steering wheel, and that's how it works, but using two different, you know, Y and X axes or whatever it's called. So I'm not a pro at this, so I guess you're going to watch me more struggle with this, but it's pretty cool, BB-8 BB can you know, do its thing. And once BB-8's head, head, BB head is lost, you're well aware of it. So after filming everything, realize there is a, that stand guard mode is a motion activated mode. And let's give it a try. BB-8. BB-8. Stay in guard. Okay, so let's sense it out. I moved, and that's what happens. So let's try out this 
follow me mode. So I'm going to switch this to mode right here. And this is going to go right in my back pocket. And let's see how BB follows me. If there was more space, it probably would probably be a lot easier. But you gotta admit, it's not not a bad feature. Yeah. Yeah, you lose. Is there a distance to this? Come on. Okay, there might be a distance there. So we just learned that right here. All right, come in. have the three main functions for BB-8 and you guys just watch someone who's who's not that good at remote control toys and who has spent probably a total of 20 minutes with this toy. I love it within the first so far 20 minutes that I've got to play with it and uh, you saw me not be a pro at this and like I say is Black Friday check this sucker off for 50 bucks okay at Target. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.